You switch on Netflix and start watching your favorite series, Friends. The familiar feeling of being one among the gang envelopes you. You start feeling like Rachel, Chandler, Monica, and the rest of the gang are your best friends. If this sounds any way familiar with regards to any series that you watch, then you are experiencing a parasocial relationship with an on-screen celebrity. Sounds a little strange, doesn't it? You might be curious about what it is exactly. Well, a parasocial relationship is a one-sided bond that you develop with media personalities. It was first introduced by Donald Horton and R. Richard Bull in 1956. You might think it's a little funny that someone can develop a relationship with a media personality. It is easy to admire a heartthrob like Ryan Gosling after watching The Notebook, but to call it a relationship might seem like taking it too far. Yet, you forget that we as human beings always seek social connections. We form bonds with our pets, plants, and non-living things too. So then, why can we not pine for a character from Grey's Anatomy? Why not have a one-sided love affair with Patrick Dempsey, who plays the dashing and charming Derek? Social media has boosted fan culture and made it easy for us to get access to celebrities. We can watch interviews, follow them on Instagram, and it almost makes us feel like we are a part of their lives. This can trick our minds and blur the lines between reality and fantasy. So, how are these parasocial relationships formed? It first begins with a parasocial interaction. This might be when you meet a celebrity at a meet and greet or reach out to them on social media. This interaction might make you feel like you have a special connection with them and can cause you to start engaging in a parasocial relationship. You might find yourself binging their interviews or stalking their social media accounts late into the night. This will further strengthen the bond you feel. According to parasocial relationship psychology, this may even lead to a parasocial attachment with the celebrity. Psychologist Gail Stever was the first one to introduce the concept of parasocial attachment by extending the theory of attachment. The attachment is developed with a media personality when the personality takes the form of a safe space or haven for you. They might offer you safety, security, and comfort. For example, as a teenager, you may have fantasized and dreamt of Edward Cullen from Twilight protecting you and being there for you when nobody was. You form an attachment that helps fill the void that a lack of human connection has created. Are parasocial relationships unhealthy? Psychologists agree that this type of relationship is common owing to fan culture. It is harmless as long as people are able to distinguish between what is reality and what isn't. It is important for parasocial relationships to have boundaries. A celebrity crush is cute but a celebrity obsession can be dangerous. Sometimes people get so involved in the life of a celebrity, they stop taking care of their own. They start focusing on someone who isn't even aware of their existence and isolate themselves from people in their life. For example, in Billie Eilish's documentary, The World's a Little Blurry, she talks about her crush on Justin Bieber as a 17-year-old. She says her obsession with him was so intense, she would cry in her room and her parents even considered taking her to therapy for it. This highlights the dangers of parasocial relationships if taken too far. Can parasocial relationships be beneficial? When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, we all found ourselves restricted from physical human connections. We turned to social media to help overcome our loneliness. It was during this time that many of us started heavily consuming media in different forms. This involved social media videos, Netflix movies and series, following small YouTubers and influencers, reality shows and more. So, when you and your friends could not engage in physical interactions, the Gilmore Girls were there offering you solace. In other situations, sometimes your parasocial relationship with celebrities might even cause you to adopt healthy habits. For example, you might watch an interview where they say how important exercising is and find yourself motivated to hit the gym. Can parasocial relationships impact your ideas and ideologies? Yes, they can. Your parasocial relationships can influence your political views, voting behavior, dressing style, dietary preferences, and love life. Couples may break up because they feel as though their relationship is not as perfect as the one the celebrity they have a parasocial relationship with has. It is easy to forget what you see about them is carefully curated and so highlights only the positives while hiding the negatives. You can even have a parasocial breakup if the celebrity dies or you lose interest. This can impact your life by creating a void. For instance, the death of Heath Ledger resulted in many people not going to work for some time. So, as long as you are in control of your parasocial relationship, it is fun and manageable. But if it starts taking control of your life and you begin to lose yourself in it, 
Then it's time to talk to your family or friends about your challenges, and in some cases, even consult a professional. Let us know what you think of parasocial relationships in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tap on the bell icon to find out when we post a new video. Stay healthy and happy. Thank you for watching.